Hey, good evening, Auburn High School senior parents. This is Jeff Gardner, principal at Auburn High. Today is September 28th, and we did our second senior meeting of the school year. We'll end up having about a half dozen. Our next one isn't until November 8th, so we got about a month and a half, but I wanted to bring you up to speed with what we shared with our seniors today. Um, they were great with their attendance. They were there on time. We did it in our Performing Arts Center. It's just always nice to be able to do it there. Uh, in years past, we've had to do it remotely, kind of like I'm doing right now, and that hasn't always been so much fun. So I'm doing kind of a numbers countdown. We had our meeting two weeks ago. I threw the number 276 up, asked them if they knew what that meant. At that time, they didn't. But from that date, from uh, September 14th, we had 276 days until graduation. Now it's 262. We're not doing that to raise anxieties. Uh, we all have enough anxieties anyway, but just to let them know, you know, this thing is counting down. There are you know, there's signs in the hourglass that are trying to kind of winding down and we want to really make sure we're capturing the time we have. So I'm going to take you through in an abbreviated way what we covered today in the senior meeting and hopefully you can get something out of this. Um, all right, here we go. So two weeks ago, I asked them to do their homework and I asked them today before I showed them the slide, how many of you guys got your homework completed? And some of the kids were like trying, well, I did my weightlifting or I did that. And I said, well, that's extra credit. But your homework was to figure out who your graduation walking partner is going to be. And I told them that's 100 percent optional. I kind of explained to them why I'm going to shut my camera off here, why that's important, because that kind of gives them an accountability partner. And for the reason that maybe they might miss a senior meeting or something, they got someone to cover for them. So they don't have to have a a partner. They could even have a small group of friends. They're kind of covering for each other, but I think it's just sometimes it's just more fun to go through these things with somebody else. Um, the next piece of information, okay, that's just a picture of them from their freshman year. That's the first time they all came together as a freshman class back on the first day of school, September 2019. Um, two weeks ago, I showed them this is what uh, you're now jumping out of the plane. This is your senior year, and you don't really know what's below you. And like I said to them today, I hope their senior year already feels like this, that they're able to kind of enjoy it, you know, kind of see the scenery and enjoy the moments. And I know our senior class has the theme making memories. So hopefully they can do that this year, make, make a lot of great memories. And I hope their year is not starting out looking like this. And I shared with them, there's going to be moments it's going to look like this, hopefully far and few between. But most of the time with good planning, it should look like this. And that's really the reason why we have the meetings. I did have a senior for the first time ever going, Mr. Gardner, why do we have senior meetings? And I said, hmm, here's why, because we want everybody to graduate, okay? We want all of our students to earn their diploma. That's really huge. And that's why we do the meetings, to keep our kids, our senior students up to speed with, with what's expected and, and all of that. So one thing I shared with them today is good luck is a result of good planning. We want to give everybody good luck, but luck is... You know, that's like a superstition thing. And I've got those. I've got some superstitions, but mainly you got to put in the work and the planning to have a good result. Um, showed him one of our students from last year who did exactly that. He was a good planner. He had really great uh, goals in life. I know he's working that direction. He came to our football game a couple weeks ago, but it's just really good to see. We had a really fantastic time at graduation a year ago. I also shared with them that Mrs. Marshall, Miss Marshall, our college and career um, counselor is on the ready to help them with all kinds of things. We're going to be getting into a big push with our uh, federal assistance, our financial aid, and also Washington State. It's called WASFA and FAFSA, and she is our guru of that. I also asked our seniors to sign up for the senior class Google Classroom. I gave them the information for that. So that's how they go in and what Miss Marshall's going to do is keep them up to speed with all things related to financial aid, uh, getting ready for college, getting ready for the military, getting ready for tech school, getting ready for careers, getting ready, I even said, for a gap year. If anyone plans on taking a gap year, there's successful ways to do that. All right. I also showed them kind of a small version of the, of the senior countdown sheet to graduation. We don't have enough dates on it yet to really hand it out to our kids very much still under construction, but you can see the first two dates. We knocked out the first two senior class meetings. Our next meeting is going to be, like I said, November 8th. We're going to have our gentleman uh, representative, Mike Annis from Jostens. He's going to be there. I gave the students a little bit of a preview today. And then we'll have two more in the spring, later in the spring, and then as we wind down to graduation. 
Also hit them on their milestone activities they have to do in Zello. They start that next month. I asked any of them if they'd started yet. Not one hand went up. That's good because um, we want to make sure they get the right instruction for doing that. This all happens in our Troy times, our eighth periods. So as parents, don't be afraid to check your seniors' Troy time attendance. They really need to be in eighth period um, getting that type of uh, access. Okay, this is the countdown sheet. You're all going to get a copy of this by November 8th. We want to make sure we've got all the people who weigh in, all the different events, been able to put in enough dates, times, locations down. And then we will give you new iterations of this. And I think our last iteration, let me go backwards. It will be on um, by the 18th of May. By that day, we're going to have everything nailed, okay, in terms of times for graduation, everything like that. All right. Let me work forward. Here's some of the fun events. We know it's when senior prom is going to be. That's the only date we have. We do some fantastic cultural and program celebrations for our seniors. Uh, that's one of them. That's another. That's our Native Ed students, Native Ed American students who took a great picture in front of the school last year. This is another. And this is another. And then another, another slide we share with our students. And I wish I would have had this as I shared with them today. I wish I would have had this in college because I didn't have this in high school. But just ways you can make sure the learning sticks because it doesn't always stick. But what is at your disposal on your high school campus, on your college campus, at your workplace, where you can find the information you need, where you can find the help or support you need to help the learning, you know, make sense. And when it makes sense, it tends to resonate better for students. Also, reshared with them that we do have academic advising four days a week in our homework club that's in our library. We do run two buses that leaves our school 445 if your student relies on buses. Most of our seniors, I'm sure, are able to get rides if they don't have their own vehicles, but the bus service is there. Um, and then each day we have different teachers there. We're still populating that with teachers and paraeducators. And oftentimes you'll find that students help students too. Okay, I also showed them this page from our counselor's webpage. Told them why that's important. I'm gonna come back to that one in just a second so you can peruse this as you want. And I'll show you how to get there. I also showed them a copy of what we call, I think our counselors call it the hard card or the box card. They all have a physical card or a sheet of this for each of our seniors, all of our students for that matter. And they just put the number of credits they have in each of those boxes. They check off each box as each, each of the students kind of fulfills a credit. And it kind of keeps them on top of making sure the students have, are working towards their 24 credits and they're landing in the right spots and right areas. Seniors will have a credit check meeting in September or October if that hasn't already happened. I really encourage seniors, you don't have to wait for the counselor to come to you. They are checking their list and they will meet with you, but don't be afraid to get on this website, okay, and to set up your own meeting. So this is, uh, you go to the district website or you can go straight to our school website, auburn.wednet.edu backslash AHS, and then you go to For Families and Students. You can do that right now. You check on counseling, and then you click on the correct link below for your alpha counselor and set up a 15-minute meeting on Calendly. So for instance, if, you're, if your counselor is Mr. Nishimoto, your, it means your, your last name starts with H-I through M-E. You then would go where it says click here to set up an appointment. And then that would take you to a calendar and you set up whatever works for you that's open for you. All right, diploma requirements is something we went through two weeks ago, but I think this is something that definitely needs an extra repetition on. We talked about having 24 credits done in those, in those right boxes um, for on-time graduation. And if it does take longer, some of our seniors may not graduate on time. The diploma is still the diploma. I gave them another quiz. What does a high school diploma really mean? Uh, one of our students kind of sort of remembered, he remembered it might be worth about $51,000. Well, over a course of a 40-year uh, working career, it's going to be worth about a half million dollars, okay? four hundred to $500,000 extra somebody could make only because they have a high school diploma, and that's based on averages. And then we kind of went through the different course, uh, the numbers they would need to have for each of these. And let's see. Also went through the Zello, explained to them they have to 
They don't have to pass the Smarter Balance. We want them to. We want them to take it. We want them to do their very best job in math and in English. But before they can access any of the locally determined pathway alternatives to meet the testing requirement to get their diploma, they have to attempt and complete both tests. Okay. So if any of your seniors are, are, are signed up to do the test this spring, I don't have the exact dates today, but make sure they show up to school, they take it. Let's pretend they don't do so well, they don't pass it. That opens up all those alternatives and most of those are not that difficult to access. We obviously want our kids to pass all the tests they take, but we know, I told them as a nation, um, you know, about half the kids are passing the math test and about two thirds are passing the English. So let's just be honest, let's be real, let's do the best we can, but also make it so we can't access all the plan Bs. Okay, Washington State history is another requirement. And if your student moved in from out of state, hopefully they took the state equivalency from their uh, state that you guys moved from, or if they're coming from another country, the country offered its equivalency for their particular, it could be provincial, it could be country, it could be government, but we gotta have something to check that box. Okay, this is a certificate, this is not the diploma, and students must complete all 10 of their Zello lessons and 10 hours of community service to earn that. I showed them a group of seniors from last year. I had teachers in Troy time taking photos of kids as they were finishing up their high school and beyond plan and their 10 hours of community service. And we just kind of put that up there every day on the screen in the commons, um, showing the kids faces and that got other kids nudged to get that done. So that's something we encourage our kids to do. Um, and that is also a graduation requirement. They have to get their 10 Zello lessons done and complete their 10 hours of community service while they're in high school. Okay, any of our students that has a job, um, and I told the students this today, you gotta have one of those jobs where you actually get a pay stub. You know, if you're working for a relative or a friend, they're paying you under the table cash, keep that job, keep doing it. I don't think you're gonna be able to earn credit for that though. So that's one of the requirements. I told them to check in with Miss Tarsi in room 130 before or after school for more information. She's super accessible. So that's another way to earn some credit. And I think that's it. If, if some of our students are way behind in credit, there's also the state 22 and a half waiver diploma. So some of our students based on different situations could actually graduate with 22 and a half credits, but that has to be worked with their individual school counselor. Here's some other programs I wanted to make sure our students know about. On the top left hand, you see one called Apex. We use Apex at our school. It's for credit recapture, credit recovery. Uh, students are behind in credits can actually access for a second time the same course. I don't think it's done as well as having a live teacher, but for some of our students, online learning works really well for them and they can earn the credit. Also Washington Youth Academy, um, they run that out in Bremerton. It's a, uh, I think it's a Coast Guard, it's, it might be Navy, but anyway, um, it's a military type school. The kids live there for a few months. And what they're able to do in those few months is come back with eight credits. And the kids that come back from that program, I think about every semester they do that or every quarter, uh, the kids that succeed at that, eight credits, they come back, you know, just with more purpose, more direction. So if you ever entertain that idea, it's worth checking out. The Open Doors program and the Graduation Alliance program, those both need to be accessed through West Auburn High School. Your students would not attend West Auburn High School. They would access it by becoming a West Auburn High School student. Therefore, that would be the launch pad to get them into Green River for the Open Doors program or for the Grad Alliance program. So there's other opportunities to earn that high school diploma. Of course, we want all of our current seniors to stay at Auburn and get what they need here at our school. But I just want you to know if your students are way behind in credits, there's other ways of going about it. And that's the main thing. The one thing we do know, our senior prom is going to be on May 20th. We know that already. And the preview I gave them is the Jostens. That's the company that takes care of caps and gowns and graduation announcements and class rings and all that cool stuff, sweatshirts. And I just gave your students a short preview. I let them know, here's how you can access it. You know, you go to the Jostens.com site. You type in where that yellow circle is, Auburn High School. Make sure you go to the correct Auburn High School. There's almost a dozen of them. You go to the one with the Trojan head. 
And then you click on senior graduation order day, which is November 8th. That's the day Mike is coming for our next senior meeting. And if you want to contact your rep, you can click on that. That takes you to right to Mike Annis' uh, contact information. Mike is the best. He will take care of your students, take care of your orders. You're always more than, than free to contact me, but more often than not, I plug you into Mike and Mike will take care of it. All right, the basic cap gown tassel stole unit. And it also includes a graduation diploma cover. It's $57. And then it just increases from there, depending on what type of stuff you want, what type of stuff your student wants. You got the announcements, you got the name cards, you got photos, you got all kinds of cool stuff. And hold on. And you got sweatshirts, you got class rings. I didn't put them there. Oh, yeah, the tassel is worth the hassle. Um, and sometimes the kids are going to feel like, you know, they flattened out and we got to just keep pushing them because it's worth it. Talk to them a little bit about decorating their caps. We'll get into that later. They don't have to do that. They can if they want. We um, Some of our Native American students wear a very traditional cedar cap for graduation, but we'll be talking about that later. The last few slides are more just preview for forthcoming meetings. And I think that pretty much captured it. So hopefully um, that gets our kids a little bit more focused on what's in front of them. And again, we will not meet again until November 8th. And I just want to share with you, your students were a fantastic audience. They were mature, showed up on time. And uh, yeah, they're going to be a fun group to work with as we move towards graduation. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.